Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha. So we are on the 11th of fall now, not quite halfway through the month, but we're getting close. And we have some things to explore. Hopefully Zeta will be available and we'll be able to talk with her. I don't think she is, to be honest with you. Um, but it is raining. And so, Era has finished her idea. We can speak with her today. The Mograni have given us a gift. We appreciate your friendship. Here's the recipe for our clan's favorite bread. Awesome. And then we have Zeta's idea. Oh. And she is not visiting, so unfortunately, no, we, we don't get to talk to Zeta. You can follow us. Actually, it's raining. You can go ahead and stay here. You're cute. Stay warm. Stay warm and dry, little bunny rabbit. Okay, now... We should be good on flute playing. And the guanaco are in the process of breeding. Got lots of goodies today. Okay. See, we're getting milk, like, nearly every day now. I'd want to still continue increasing their base production speed. I hope that's production speed. Um, that's our male. Okay. There's our ostrich. And here's our female, who is milkable. Milkable. Which is fantastic. Okay. So, a couple of things. We are going to make some cheese. I suppose I should make mayonnaise as well. Um, but also, looking at our prophecies, looking at the Mograni. So we did get to know them better. Um, we need to... I th I'm pretty sure that this is bees and that's the quest we're working on with Zeta, but we'll see. Um, so we need to trade and we need to make one of their dishes, right? Yeah, cook a Yakuan dish. So this should be cook a Mograni dish. Um, we'll take a look in the kitchen. So that doesn't mean we're not done or that we're done making friends with Took, so. We're also not done making friends with Enza. We're just working on it. But we are done with the extent that it's a prophecy, and I'm wondering if there's gonna be more in the jungle once we get another prophecy done. Ah, okay. You guys can stick around. We're not doing any watering, so. Aha! Our first bit of fennel. No garbanzo. And as we come on down here, corn is actually ready. That's ready. Oh, and it doesn't regrow. Okay. That's okay. We'll go and find Grandpa and we'll get some. Also, if we look at our seeds, our fall seeds, buckwheat's going to be a harder one. Um... Corn apparently is going to be a harder one. Chili actually hasn't finished growing yet. I think it's in the fields. It should be. Um, Got to work on the fennel some more. Pumpkins haven't grown yet, so I'm not sure how they're going to turn out. But we'll see. 
Um, are these chili? These are our chilies. Okay, so those are all chilies. They definitely take a while. Okay. So, couple of things for us to do. Let's go check out the jungle real quick. We're going to go and check in on Grandpa and hopefully get some more corn seeds. And then we're also going to check in with Era. And then we may go mining. Though, actually, we don't have all the ingredients to go and visit... Um, the bear totem and do that. So maybe we won't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to expand this. But we get the bees going and we cook a yukun dish and we'll be able to expand it. So why not, right? I think we do need to take a look, though, at what Ikuan dishes, or what Magrani dishes there are that we can cook and what we need to cook them. So, that's a Ikuan dish. Rye bread is going to involve a clay oven. Pomegranate toast is one of ours. So I'm pretty sure it's rye bread. Yeah. Potch and lentil pie, maybe? Lentil pie might be one. Um... Oh, I don't get to see what it is. So that's the rye bread that he just gave us. And yeah, that's lentil pie. So if we buy some lentils from Zeta, that'll be a trade. And then we make the lentil pie and that'll be a dish. So that'll be that. That's not bad at all. Um... So, we'll come and we'll find Era and Grandpa, and I bet somebody's going to be in here. Yeah, there's Era. The kitchen heat is actually helpful. You know, when you get wet, something to keep, you know when you get wet, something to keep it cool in the summer. I did the same thing with the pots. A smaller one holds the food, while a larger one holds it, and in between, a mixture of sand and water. Girl said he'd install one in your house tonight. I think you'll like it. It's super, well, cool. I hope no one minds my family is here. I don't want to be a burden. Yeah, it's also your birthday, so... Things that you might like. Hmm. I'm thinking, actually. Maybe she'll like the sauerkraut, because it's a processed food. You remembered my birthday? Thank you. Okay, so it seems she was only neutral for that, but that's okay. Grandpa's usually in this tent in the rain. <clears throat> yeah, there he is. Things are shaping up nicely here, aren't they? <clears throat> Winter shouldn't be too bad this year. Hopefully. We'll buy some corn. Hmm. I think we have some butternut squash seeds. We might put some more down. 
Hmm. Fennel takes a while to grow, but we've got quite a bit of it. Onions regrow, we shouldn't need any more. Prickly pear regrows and garbanzo regrows. Cabbage are pretty quick to grow. But we also have a bunch of sweet potatoes. So we might focus on the sweet potatoes first. Just because some of these, honestly, we're not going to finish. And so we'll have to come back to it in another year's time if we want it to get max level. Now, whether or not we're still doing a Let's Play at that point <clears throat> is up to you guys. But we're at least going to play through the main storyline. I do promise you that. We will play through the main story. And then you guys can go ahead and decide if you want to keep going or not. Okay. Yeah, we still have another 17 cabbage, so that should be doing us pretty well. Let's see here. <clears throat> it's the fennel that also doesn't regrow. I might buy more of that or I might not, to be honest. Okay. <clears throat> so that's that for the fields for the most part. So let's maybe have a chat with Coral and see what we need to upgrade our barns. He's going to be down in his house. That's okay. Or was he in Reese's house? I don't know why he would. He is in Reese's house. Okay. I guess we're going to wait until the weather's nicer. <laughs> so, if we wanted to upgrade our house, that's actually just hardwood and obsidian, and we could do that. And 10,000 prosperity, that's a little bit worse, but that's fine. And these are 12,000, so these are actually going to be more expensive. So, we need a lot of hardwood to upgrade things. Okay. We can get a lot of hardwood. We may do some of that today. Because um, we can't go further in the mine even though it's raining, unfortunately. That's where we're at, guys. That's where we're at. Okay. So we'll get a stupid amount of hardwood. And then we'll just need money. We'll also get a stupid amount of wood. But I'd like to try and focus on the hardwood at least. And then what we'll hopefully be doing is Zeta should be back soon. <laughs> At which point we should be able to start the quest. My cat has found uh, tissue paper like for gifts. So that's that's what that noise is. I'm sorry guys, if it was a human, I'd get after them for making noise. But he would not understand. He's he's a smart cat, but this is something he would not understand. 
Why would I have left the tissue paper out if he's not allowed to play with it? Why, why is playing bad at a certain time? And just so everyone is aware, um, both of my cats, uh, I have a brother and sister, and they're both only about a year and a half old. So they're not just childlike because they're cats. No, they're they're childlike because they're actually children. They are still trying to figure out the ways of the world. They're not quite grown yet. So, we uh we have to take our lessons in a bit of stride with these two, unfortunately. But they are very cute and very sweet. And they do know some tricks and things like that. Uh, they're just they're just kids, you know? They're just not fully developed yet. Not to say that any kids watching this are not smart. Um, but biologically, there are things that are not done growing inside of your brain. Um, takes honestly, people will get after you that you're young even when you're in your 20s. It does take, they've shown, uh, partway into your 20s for your brain to finish growing. And that's, that's what they're talking about. Or at least that's what I'm talking about. Some people may try to be more patronizing than me. And I just mean literally, they're, they're teenagers. Their little brains are still growing. They're still experiencing the world. Anyway, enough ranting about the politics of, of cat biology. Um, we're cutting some wood. But yeah, this this little one, you know, he, he can open doors and cabinets, but he still misjudges his jumps and leaps face first into a wall. And yes, I have gotten his eyes checked. It's, it's a teenage cat thing. Ooh, we have some cheese. And we also have more milk, so that's good. Um, 130 hardwood is not bad for a day's work. Unfortunately, we are also completely out of Baba Ganesh now. So that could become a bit of a problem. So we have 150. I believe that's enough to upgrade our house, which is great. Uh, that's gatherable. Some of this we are going to sell. We're also going to put some of these into the fermenter. And we may also um, start drying some things. I did actually want to hold on to some corn and try and remember what I needed with said corn. Uh, so we will do that. We're also going to make more sauerkraut. So it's, it's early in the evening so So let's see if there's any new dishes we can make with our new corn. Um, so that's pomegranate bread and cheese. We do still need to go and find grub and get a piece of white meat. Um, if we have garlic, we might be able to do that. Tomato, onion, and chili. We don't have chili yet. There was a thing with corn, though. I know that there was. There it is. Mushroom, meat, corn. So let's go make some fake meat. And grab a mushroom, I guess. There's a mushroom. And a garlic. Oh. Okay. 
And then let's make meat out of something, I guess. Any legume into plant meat, so I do need a legume. And this is just harvest. So fennel can go in here, I guess. Um, we'll grab a bit of garbanzo. And we'll make some fake meat. Okay, let's try and do a bit of cooking. So first off, let's do this one that we've been waiting for the corn for. So there's tamales. Um, here's the garlic mushroom dish. Okay. Duck cells? I'm not sure. Okay. I know we had another one that was supposed to be easy. That was meat. Related. Oh no, that's the meat mushroom corn. And I made the other one that was garlic and mushroom. Did I not have something else? No, I'm just thinking about the meat. Okay, that makes sense. So we'll go and we'll get some stuff sold and we'll head to bed. Looking also at the new dishes we just made. Those are 76, friend, or 76 stamina. Those are not bad for mushrooms and garlic. Um... This dish, the tamales, are mushrooms, legumes, and corn. That's 78. That's also not terrible. We could make some more of that. But both of these do require mushroom. And I think that could pose, pose a bit of a problem for us. Uh, corn by itself sells for 29 and it's a grain so we can actually grind that into flour which is nice prickly pear or fruit they don't sell for much on their own so we'll probably process those a bit um yeah but we do have some good stuff here which is nice yeah Oh, wait, actually, I'm pretty sure I have key item to cheese in a chest. I think I put it in this chest up here as a key item, right? Yeah, there's the cheese that we're going to take up. And the wine as well. Actually, maybe we'll make some prickly pear wine. I think we do that. I think we make some prickly pear wine. Because what I'm thinking is the prickly pears are cheap. We might as well make wine out of them. For the quest. Uh, they're also low quality wild fruit. So make some wine out of that. And then we'll go to bed. While that ferments. All right. Go ahead and give her a sleep. The clan is up to 136,000 prosperity. Well on our way to target practice. And we contributed 409. So giving her a good save. We're back up to 946 contribution. And we will have a new idea from Jacques tomorrow, which we will take a look at. And hopefully, crossing our fingers, Zeta is here today. However, 
that is going to have to wait for with the saving of the game and the ending of the day. We have come to the end of another episode. If you like what you see, feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. Until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And have a good night.